morning, everybody. I am currently in Kyrgyzstan. Um, I wasn't supposed to be doing one of these uh, at the moment because I'm currently on a road trip with a few friends. Um, I've got a mate who, who lives here and he's very kindly taken me and a few others around Kyrgyzstan. Um, at this moment in time, we are somewhere called Songkul. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. Um, it's essentially a huge lake at about 3,000 metres in the air. It is stunning. I mean, this country is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I brought my camera stuff around, and when we were driving along, I, I saw marmots, 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 I don't know how you say it yet, um, so yeah, I saw some last night with a ridiculous sunset, I didn't really have my camera, um, but I'm out here pre-sunrise to see if I can get some nice footage and some nice shots, um, they're quite skittish, they, well, when it saw me, it dashed back into its hole, um, but I think I found a half decent area to find them. Um, so yeah, let me drive along down there and uh, we'll see how we get on. So I'm back in the spot I was yesterday, um, I can't quite see any yet, but as it is with wildlife photography, it's just going to be a waiting game really. Um, when I see them, they are on mounds that they've built, like dug holes into, um, and they've been on the top, and then when they get spooked, they go down into the mounds. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to stick it out. I'm really, really wish I had some coffee, um, but we plow on. I should probably explain the hat. I am on holiday. That's the only reason. Um, it is reversible. With any luck, I'll show you the other side. That'll be fun, won't it? 
Um, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll update you as and when. just decided to stop the car in an area where I can see a lot of marmot holes. Um, I'll show you one now just so you can see what it looks like. The sun's just come up. I'm the only one that's making any noise here. I can't hear a single peep apart from the horses and the cows and a few birds that are flying overhead. It's ridiculously nice. I'm very pleased. I got up. Just had a raven going overhead. Oh, so nice. Hopefully the footage that I'm trying to capture from the position that I'm in shows you just how beautiful this place is. Um, it really is built for... Well, I say built. This place is perfect for landscape photographers or drone photographers because... As we're driving up around the country, every single place you go, there's something to photograph, or a canyon, or a valley, or... Yeah, it's stunning. I've, for the last five days, been doing a bit of a tour. I've not really got my camera out because it's a holiday with mates, but I think i got some nice photos on my phone, so I'll put those up now whilst I'm uh, waiting for a bit of mama action. I should probably also stress I'm doing two things completely wrong here. One is not knowing anything about your subject. I mean, I didn't know these were going to be here. I don't really know much about them. I'm taking a bit of a chance coming out this morning, hoping that I can second guess a bit of their behaviour. Um, but the second thing is I'm in an area where there's absolutely no phone signal, not even emergency services, um, in a car that's got its engine check light on, in a country where I don't speak a single word of the language. Um, luckily, I mean, I'm only a 15 minute drive away from the yurt camp that I'm staying at, um, but yeah, don't do this at home, kids. as I was giving up hope I changed tact and drove about came back to exactly the same position that I was at and one's just popped out got a bit of footage from very far away now I'm going to try and get closer I may or may not take you with me but I'll definitely show you the photos and the video right do 
through sex. Well, I am very, I was going to swear then, very happy. Um, you can see by the hat. I don't know why I did that. Um, that was better than I ever could have hoped for. Jesus Christ. I walked to about 50 metres away from where I could see one. Um, and then I put my extender on. So I'm using an Olympus EM1 Mark II with a 300mm f4 so I put the 1.4 times extender on just because I didn't want to get too close I didn't know if they'd let me get too close um, about 50 metres away and then started just dragging myself along the floor uh, which isn't great because my trousers are now completely ruined but I mean well worth it I didn't get that much footage in the end um, but the photos that that I got, I am very happy with. Very happy with. I've got, I managed to get, there was ended up being two. There was two. Um, I got the mountains in the background. Oh, I can't wait to go and, uh, to go and edit these now. I'm in an area where I've got absolutely no power. Um, so that's going to have to wait a few days, but yeah. Just a, a chance outing. And it worked. I really was thinking it wasn't going to work, but I did. I got the photos banging. Um, but yeah, I've got another 10 days in Kyrgyzstan now. I'm going out on a specific photography expedition um, out into the mountains. I'm extremely unprepared. I so say tomorrow I'm going to have to go and buy loads of clothes, loads of warm clothes. Um, but yeah, that should be a completely different landscape. Snowy. I'm hoping for ibex, but see what see what we get. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.